First at six tonight, Charlotte City leaders say the trillion dollar infrastructure bill will trickle down to the Queen City in the near future. And now there's no set date for when the money will be dished out, but city staff are already mapping out plans of where that money will go. Fox 46 chief political correspondent Emma Withrow tonight joins us live from the government center. And Emma, where are we in this process right now? All right, guys. Well, President Biden just signed this bill into law on Monday. So right now, city staff and leaders are just gearing up to get their piece of the pie. I would say using a baseball analogy, since we're by the baseball stadium, we're, we're probably on first base uh, in terms of making sure and understanding how the dollars would flow, right? How they flow from from D.C. To North, um, to North Carolina, from North Carolina to the city of Charlotte. It's too early in the process to know exactly how the money will be spent, but Councilman Malcolm Graham says the $1.2 trillion infrastructure package will do a lot more than just repaving Charlotte's roads. The city manager now is making an assessment with all his C senior leadership team to determine projects within those divisions, whether it's utilities or planning or, or on neighborhood development. Jane Whitley, the chair of the Mecklenburg County Democratic Party, said the money from the bill will also change the way North Carolinians travel up and down the state. It will make the most significant investment in passenger rail in the past 50 years and in public transit ever, including developing the next critical link in the Charlotte to Raleigh to Richmond to Washington Southeast Corridor. This means that every resident in Charlotte will be safer and get where they're going faster. Joey Hopkins with the North Carolina Department of Transportation said the money will also help push other planned projects along. Before the infrastructure bill, we're projected to be over-programmed, meaning we've got more projects than we have money for, over-programmed by the amount of about $11 billion. And that's about 50% more projects than we have money for over the next 10-year period when we develop that program. So this infrastructure bill will make that be less of a hole that we'll have to dig out of. The Republican senators Tom Tillis and Richard Burr voted for the bill. Republican Senate candidates for Burr's seat spoke out against it. They said the bill put billions of dollars towards things unrelated to infrastructure. I think that they need to look at what their um, definition of infrastructure is. Um, this is all infrastructure whether it's people working to make a living, whether it's people crossing a bridge. And Councilman Graham said the city manager and city staff are still in the very early planning stages in terms of getting this money allocated out into the community. But as always, we will provide updates as they come along. But for now, live at the Government Center, Emma Withrow, Fox 46.